Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. So a little while ago, I entered a contest to create a book cover for a book that covered PaintShop Pro tips and tricks. My cover that I submitted actually got chosen and that book is now available and I've provided a link in the description below if you'd like to go and purchase that book. But I recorded what I did in creating it, and so what's going to follow is just a time lapse of it. I'm not really going to explain all the steps, but I'll just commentate kind of what's going on, and you can see the creation of it from beginning to end. So let's get to it. So starting with the blank canvas, just putting a black background. And for the first part, I was trying to create some shapes that mimic sort of the blades on a camera aperture system. And this was a lot easier in my mind to do in Blender. So essentially what I'm doing is creating a singular blade and then duplicating and rotating it about a center uh, just to create the generic shape. And then what I'm going to do is bring that into PaintShop Pro. This could be done with vector graphics as well, but I find it easier to do this particular type of creation in Blender. So now black, back in Blender, uh, can position and resize it, and then create a mask from that shape. And then I'm going to bring in an example image just to get an idea, but I'll eventually replace each one of those blades with a specific image. But for now, this is just to get an idea of how the layout's gonna go. Right here, I'm actually experimenting with a few different backgrounds, trying to work with a gradient fill, uh, but ultimately I realized it just wasn't working out the way I wanted it to, and I got rid of it. So now I'm trying to pick a color scheme, because instead what I'm going to do is just draw in some shapes at the bottom which can sort of act as like a framing that's on the other side of the the corner but will also be where the uh, author's name will go so i use the color palette picker just to kind of get some colors that are similar enough but different and then drew some triangles in the corner or rectangles actually but positioned to be like triangles added just a simple vector line uh, on top of which I would add the author's name. Next, adding the uh, main title and using just a very classic Times New Roman font. Added a little bit of drop shadow with the layer properties to create some separation between the text and the background. adding the smaller text, but I wanted to make sure that that text fit in the middle of the aperture blades just so that it stood out and it was easy to read. Adding the author name. So at this stage, I started experimenting with putting some kind of shape or some type of image in that center point there in the middle of the aperture blades, tried experimenting with size and orientation. Ultimately, again, it was something that I just couldn't get working the way I liked, so I deleted it. So next at this stage, I'm just starting to individually break out the, the blades. Uh, to have separate masks on separate layers so that I could very easily add a unique image to each one of those blades. So then at this stage, starting to put in the specific images that I wanted, and you can see it's really easy to position and arrange them without affecting anything else in the image because of the fact that each layer has its own mask. So 
So now with all of the images in place, just bumping up the saturation on each of them so that it pops a little bit more from the dark background. Doing some very basic uh, layer management. So although I tried to use the layer properties drop shadow to create some separation from the main title and the image behind it, it wasn't significant enough. So what I ended up doing was just duplicating that layer's text and then at converting it to being black and putting it underneath and then giving it a layer property of a outer glow. And then that created the separation I was looking for with the picture behind it. Had to fix the color on that a little bit though. At this point, I decided to replace one of the images with something a little bit brighter. So now for the background, what I did was created two sets of filters in Filter Forge, and that produced the pattern uh, that was used for the background. It's really sort of like a gradient of detail, um, starting with the rings and then going to the dot pattern and it has like a natural gradient to it. At this stage, I tried to uh, amplify that gradient by using a mask and erasing part of it, but it wasn't working out the way I was expecting, so instead I just decided to use levels to increase the contrast in the darks and then really bring out that texture. Readjusting the uh, vector objects in the corner. Adding a little bit of blur to the picture with the baby, just to soften it a little bit. And then I felt like there wasn't enough separation between the images in the blades and the background. So used the selection and created a new mask and just filled it with black to create sort of like a border for all of those images. And that's it. The final image ended up being about 90 megabytes in data size and had a total of 47 layers. But um, I encourage you, Feel free to go out and use the link and buy the book, learn some new tips and tricks, and I'll see you guys next time.